Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Bottle Cap Clock. This is episode two. I'll put you a little recap on the screen now of what we did. So we've got this bottle cap, which are from Fab. I'll leave the links in the description if you want to put, pick up one of these to do a little bit of practice work on. So we flatted this off in the episode one and then we moved through the stages and we put the skull artwork in we've done the soft smoke purple smoke coming up and then we've dropped the text to the outside so that's all complete on the artwork the next stage on this to do which we're going to do today is drill the center out of this we'll put an eight mil drill hole through here and i've got another clock that i've picked up we're going to dismantle this one take the hands off spray these aluminium hands silver so they pop off this and look a little bit more shiny so you can see it we'll take all this mechanism out the back and then locate it to this bottle cap so that's what's happening in today's video guys i'll take you in the clear coat stages as well and we'll get this one finished so i'll see you in the first step Stage, I'll give you a little talk through on that time lapse. We've dismantled the clock that I've picked up, we've took all the hands off and we've unscrewed the mechanism and put that to one side. The actual hands on that clock, I'm going to leave them black because they look quite nice on this bottle cap. And then I moved on and I've done a about an 8mm hole drilled to the centre through this fiberglass nice and easy. I put a bit of masking tape down and then drill through the top of the masking tape down and in so it's left a nice clean edge on that drill hole there and then I cut a piece of batten you see me do that in a time lapse and that's a square piece of batten to sit behind this you see me tape that off and that's basically a spacer because the original clock was thicker when I pushed the mechanism through on here you had too much sticking out the front and it made the hands of the clock come right out and it looked a bit weird so we've spaced the back glued that on pre-drilled the piece of timber at the back so when the mechanism goes on the actual clock hands sit closer to the body of the clock and it just looks a little bit better so that one's all good to go that's ready for clear coat i've just run through the clear coat that we're going to use i'm using the multi-mix clear i would recommend it guys it is a nice budget clear you get some great results you don't get any drop back in gloss with it it works absolutely fine and you can use this with zero thinners so that's the multi-mix 7.5 litre kit this is an ms clear they do the hs clear and i think they're working on a uhs clear as well so good product recommended at a good price for a 7.5 litre kit well worth the money guys so that's what we're using today i recommend you use a mesh filter these aren't expensive, nice and cheap. Always filter your paints, your clear coats, just in case you've not got a filter that sits in the gun here and you've took that out for better flow because a lot of the times this can choke a spray gun up when you put a filter in. Usually take them out, just strain your paint, get rid of any nasty bits that could be sitting in there. If you just pull that straight in, all that's gonna go across your work. So recommend filter two to one as i said so we're using a measuring stick and on the stick there you've got your first increment so you go to your clear coat on number one and then you go up to the next number one here with your hardener and then that little increment at the side would be your thinner so you're going like a little percentage of thinner just to make it flow out that little bit easier temperature in here today i've had the heater on so we are at about 15, 16 degrees continuous, it's warmed up quite nice. It's enough for doing clear. So we'll just blast a little bit on here. We've got the iWater Impact Junior. 
Uh, these are like a, they feel like a bigger spray gun in your hand, but they're actually a mini jet. This will smash the clear gun in here, not a problem at all. So that's what we're using today. Settings on this will be full fan, near enough full turns out on this because it's a small needle and nozzle setup. We'll just go full out on the fluid, full fan, and probably run this around. Probably about two bar just under. We'll just have a look at that when we do it. So that's what we're using. I'll stick you in a time lapse and we'll smash a bit of clear on this. See you in a bit. There you go guys, there's the finished bottle cap clock. If you're interested in doing one of these, quite simple, you've got the two videos there you can watch and you could make one of these clocks, not a problem. These are from Fab, they're fiberglass artist blanks, really nice to work on. You can just flat these back and you can jump straight on as I did with the airbrushing and then clear coat to finish. So that's the finished clock in its glory. That will be going on the studio wall so I can see what time it is and know where I am and what I'm doing. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you can join me in Saturday's video. It's going to be clear coating more stuff, guys. We're gonna clear coat the TV, so I'll take you through that stage. And we've got the IGO wing that we did. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna clear coat that and take you through that stage as well on that one. So I just wanna say a big warm welcome to all the new subscribers that have come across to the channel. All the comments you're leaving, guys, it is much appreciated, it really is. There's some good banter across the subscribers as well which is really cool and i will see you in saturday's video and then we'll jump on to sundays and i'll do the reveal for the giveaway for the iwater eclipse airbrush some lucky winner's going to get that so i'll just do a random pick and i'll do a little video about five o'clock and just announce the winner and then you can send your details to me via email and i'll get that shipped out to you so thanks for watching and i'll see you saturday